Okay guys, it's me Kate again. So this video is my reader, reader problems tag. So let's go. Uh, first we have, you have 2,000 books, 20,000 books on your TBR. Uh, how in the world do you decide what to read next? Um, I don't know. I don't know probably what I'm feeling, feeling at the moment, so... If you're or uh, in a, or if it's a series, uh, I'll just pick up the next one. Then, if you're halfway through the, a book and you're not loving it, do you quit or are you committed? Uh, depending on the book, uh, I usually quit. But uh, if it's for something that I know that I have to read it in its entirety to make sense, uh, then I would probably finish it but mostly I quit then you have at the end of the year is coming and you're so close but so far away from your Goodreads reading challenge do you try, try to catch up and how uh, yes I do but it would be probably with something that I know that I can read quickly and uh, 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 still be able to enjoy it uh, so probably manga or comic books or something like that. The colors of the series uh, you love do no, you love do not match. How do you cope? Easy. I don't care. Everyone and their mother loves a book you really don't like. Who do you bond with over shared feelings? Depending on which book it is. You love reading a book and you are about to start crying and pop, like, how do you deal? Easy, uh, because I don't cry when I'm reading books, even watching TV shows. So, a sequel of a book you loved that just came out. Do you, but you've forgotten a lot from the prior novel. Will you reread the book, skip the sequel, try to find, find the synopsis on Goodreads? <laughs> in frustration. Uh, I'll try to reread the previous book, but if not, I'll just look up the detailed synopsis online. So, do you want anyone, anyone borrowing, you do not want anyone, anyone to borrow your books? Do you, how do you politely tell no, people not when they ask? Is it straight no to their face? Uh, reading uh, ADD, uh, you picked up uh, and put down five books in the last uh, month. How do you get over reading slump? By watching TV, probably. Uh, because if I'm tired of reading, that that's what I probably do. Then you have, there are so many new books coming out uh, that you're dying to read. How many do you actually buy? A couple of them maybe then we have after you bought the new books you can't wait to get to how long do they sit on your shelf before you get to them depending on the book I have some that are probably on my shelf by this point uh, at this point for about a year but usually in a few months so yeah uh, that's it for this book if you liked it please like share and subscribe down below you have my social media my email and some other stuff and I'll see you next time